This snippet is Exporting Your Sketchflow Project. My name is Jeremy Osborne, presenting from AGI Training for Microsoft. In this snippet, you'll learn how to package your Sketchflow project for external use. Additionally, you'll learn how to export your Sketchflow project to Microsoft Word for a more traditional hard copy use. So let's get started here. You'll want to open the Snowboard Online project associated with this snippet. And let's just talk about the concept of packaging your Sketchflow project. What we'd like to do is package this project so that all the client needs to do is double click or open a single file and the Sketchflow player will appear. The process for doing this is fairly straightforward. We choose File, Package, Sketchflow, Project. You'll be prompted to choose a folder on your system. Notice there's a checkbox saying Open Windows Explorer when complete. Let's keep that on and then press OK. After the packaging takes place, Windows Explorer opens, and we can now see all the files associated with our project. At this point, we could deliver this folder to our client. We would have to give them some simple instructions. The only thing they really need to do is double-click this document, Test Page. Of course, you can always rename this document if you choose. If we double-click this, the Sketchflow project appears in Sketchflow Player. At this point, the client could go ahead and navigate through the Sketchflow project, adding feedback as necessary. Now I do want to show you one little trick here. I'm going to go ahead and close that Sketchflow player and I'm going to minimize Sketchflow. Now let me just show you something here. I'm going to go back to this original package folder and I'm going to locate two files and put them in another folder. These two files are actually all we need to display our Sketchflow project. I'm going to go ahead and expand this column here and I want to locate the test page document, and then I'm going to control click this document, snowboardonline.xap or zap. If I select these two files and right click, I'll choose copy, and now I have another folder here labeled snowboard online small. I'll go ahead and paste those two files in here, double click on that test page, and our Sketchflow project appears. If you follow this model, I do recommend going through and checking your pages. On more complex projects, we may need some of those other files that are referenced in that larger folder. Let's go back to Sketchflow now and explore the Export to Microsoft Word feature. If you choose File, Export to Microsoft Word, again select a location, and in my case I'm going to choose Open Document when complete, click OK. What this feature will do is take your Sketchflow project and export it to Microsoft Word in a completely different format. Once the conversion has taken place, we can take a look at what happened here. So this is pretty cool. Your entire project is converted to a table of contents. And if we scroll down, we can see that all of the screens that we created are now embedded within a Microsoft Word project. The really great thing about this is that all the different screens and states that you have created are now listed in a single document. Of course, you could go ahead and print this off or send it via email for a client to review. Well, that's all for now. In this snippet, you've learned how to package your Sketchflow project for external use as well as export a Sketchflow project to Microsoft Word. My name is Jeremy Osborne, presenting from AGI Training for Microsoft.